You want to get Minecraft mods, whether that's Forge mods, Fabric mods, or Neo Forge mods. This video will show you how to do that, and we're going to be using Curse Forge. So whether it's just enough items, whether it is Waystones, Biomes of Plenty, Xero's Minimap, any of these mods can be added. I'm even going to show you how to add mods that aren't on Curse Forge to the Curse Forge app so you can get mods from any mod loader that you want. With that being said, you're going to need to download the Curse Forge app to this to work. There's two ways to do that. One is to go to the link in the description down below. It takes you here. Scroll down, click download Curse Forge, and there you go. You're ready to download the Curse Forge app. The other option is to go to curseforge.com and click get Curse Forge app in the top right. Then click download standalone and the Curse Forge installer will download, but you may need to keep or save it right like so. Now we can minimize our browser, and what we want to do is find that download we just got of the CurseForge installer. Right here it is, CurseForge Windows. Double click on it, and it will go ahead and open up a program installer just like any other app. We can click Next. We can agree to the terms of service and that we're 18 years old. If you are awesome, otherwise you can't do this unfortunately. Click Next here, and the download will begin. Now while this is downloading, I do want to mention that you can start a server and play Minecraft mods with your friends at our company, Simple Game Hosting. It's the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz sgh, and at Simple Game Hosting, you can add CurseForge mods to your server and start playing with your friends in minutes. There's even one-click installation of Minecraft mod packs, whether that's on CurseForge, Moderinth, or even custom mod packs that you've made yourself. You can easily add those to your server as well. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ says SGH and start your modded server and start playing with your friends with mods the simple way. Now you will get prompted to install an outplayed app and we don't want to do that. We want to make sure this is not checked here. Click finish and now CurseForge will open. Now when you originally open CurseForge you may get prompted to like go through a basically user setup and all that stuff but you can't just skip it. You do not have to log into CurseForge. Then go in and click Minecraft here. Click Click standard and click continue. Now all we've got to do is click create under the my mod packs tab and when we do that it will open up or we can create a profile. This is where the magic happens. So we can name this for example fabric 1.21.8 because we'll start with that profile and as at the time of recording only fabric and neoforge are updated for this version. It came out today but if you wanted to do forge once that updated you could do that as well and even quilt can be done here. So just want to keep that in mind that while these are the only two available now it's just because I'm early for making this video. Go ahead and click create and then it will open up this where we can click add content. And here we can see all of the different Minecraft 1.21.8 compatible fabric mods we can add. If it's not here, it might not be a fabric mod, or it might not be updated to the version of fabric you're using, so you would have to use an older version in order to play that mod. Like I said, at the time I'm recording, this just updated. So it's probably not got a lot of options for stuff that we can actually install. And that's okay. We can just install a few quick little things there, which we've now done. We can also create another profile. Like I said, this video works for Forge, NeoForge, and Fabric. So we can click Create, and we can do a NeoForge installation. So NeoForge Mods, and then we could do 1.21.8. And instead of Fabric here, we just click NeoForge, and now we're good to go. The same thing is going to be true for NeoForge. The only mods we're going to see when we click Add Content are going to be mods that are compatible with NeoForge and the version of Minecraft we're installing. What's also really cool is this is going to install any compatibility mods or mods that are required for these mods to work automatically. So that means you don't have to worry about getting all of those. At this point, though, you kind of know how to do this, right? You click on it, you add content, you select your mods. If you wanted to share these with your friends, you could right-click on them and click Share Profile. If you did log into CurseWords, you could just use a profile code, but you can also export as a zip, and then they can import them right up here at the top. Now, there is one more thing I promised you before I sign off of this video, and what if your mod is not on CurseForge? It's on Modern or another place. You've made your own mod. Well, we can right-click and open this folder. Any mods that you want to install, for example, NeoForge 1.21.8 mods that might just be on Moderinth, can be installed by adding them to this mods folder here. Once they're in that mods folder, you're good to go. You are now using them on the CurseForge app. So let's go ahead and play Minecraft here using our NeoForge installation, and it will open up the Minecraft launcher. Now you will need to log into the Minecraft launcher, but this is the default Minecraft launcher that you've always used. It's just launched via CurseForge with your mod. So it's 100% safe to go ahead and log in to the Minecraft launcher. Once we have logged in, click on Minecraft Java Edition on the left-hand side, click play and click play again. Minecraft will now open up with whatever mods you added in the CurseForge app in game. Truly using the CurseForge app to get mods is one of the best and easiest ways, especially with the share feature and then being able to easily access the mods by right clicking and opening the folder. You could upload these to a server, 
things like that super easily from here because you would just take this mods folder and upload it. With that being said, Minecraft's now opening and in game we can go to the mods tab and see all of the mods we installed here. Including, by the way, some of the stuff that we didn't install like this config library that's required for one of the other mods we got this just installed it. Isn't that amazing? Now with that, you now know how to get mods in Minecraft 1.21.8. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.